Did you guys know there are 376 shops in Old School RuneScape? From food shops to general stores to jewelry stores, gem shops, armor shops, maid shops, you name it. I made it my goal to find you some of the best shops to make money from by using the classic method known as shopping and hopping. In this video, I found six shops with some of the best margins to make a quick profit from. Let's get into it and see how much GP I make in an hour at each shop. For our first item, we have to travel to the Bandit Village and the Kandarin Desert. By using Fairy Code Ring BIQ, that teleports you right outside of the Calphite Lair. We just need to head south until you get to the small village. Once here, you trade the bartender, and in stock, he holds 10 Bandit Brews, selling for 650 GP each. At the time of this video, they were actively traded for around 1500 to 2k GP. So do be sure to check the margins before you try this. A bandit brew restores 1 HP and boosts your thieving and attack levels by only 1. And 1 brew is required for Desert Treasure 1. So I guess there is still a market for this. I did this method of shopping, hopping worlds, and banking for 10 minutes. I spent just over 110k and I collected 156 brews. I sold them all off in the GE, 247k. Our total at the end was 1,135k, so I subtracted the 1 mil we started with, and you're looking at 135k in profit, and that was just for 10 minutes. So multiply that number by 6, and you have 810k in profit for one hour of doing this method. Our second item is bolts of cloth. There are three locations to buy these, one being the Vera Lumber Yard, the other one in Prifnidus, and the last one being the Woodcutting Guild, which requires 60 woodcutting to enter. And this is the location I chose since there is a closed bank and most of the players watching this can actually access it. Bolts of Cloth have many uses in the game, so it's a sought after item. Most of the uses are for the construction skill to build beds, curtains, altars, tables, rugs, and many more items. This item is also required for a couple quests in the game as well. And the construction supply shop has a thousand of these in stock for 650 GP each. And the price does not increase when you buy them. So you will not need to hop worlds for this method. Alternatively, you could buy iron or steel nails. Margins on these are really good as well. But for this video, I stuck with bolts of cloth. I did this method for another 10 minutes and I spent 299k i was able to collect 459 bolts of cloth at the time these were going for right around 1k each so that's about 450 gp profit for each one that you buy after selling them in the ge i collected 420k and then subtracted out the one mil that we started with and we're left with 122k in profit in just 10 minutes so that equates to 732k an hour once you multiply that number by 6. Our third item can be purchased in multiple shops throughout the game, but I chose the shop in Prifnidus, and that item is going to be Papyrus. Papyrus can be purchased for just 13 GP each, and the shop vendor here in Prifnidus has 50 in stock, and it's just about 20 tiles away from a bank, making these Fairly quick because you're able to do two inventories per world before hopping. Viruses have a few uses for construction, such as building the pet list, the quest list, and the adventure log in your player owned house. There are also seven quests which require this item, and that's what keeps the price up in the GE. Each one sells for around 300 GP each, so you'll make some good profit on this. As always, do be sure to check the margins on this item before trying this method. I only spent 16k in about 10 minutes and I was able to collect 902 of these. I slow sold them all off at different prices and after subtracting out the one mil I started with, I was left with 229k. So you multiply that number by six, that gets you the one hour mark and you have 1,376k in profit in just one hour of buying and selling papyruses. Up next, our fourth item is going to be Mithril Seeds. 
These seeds are right now going for about 1k each in the GE, and in recent months we're selling for as high as 2k each. Mithril seeds are purchased from the Legends Guild shop, which does require the completion of the quest Legends quest. Mithril seeds themselves are used mostly by PKers, as if a player is frozen in combat by another player, they can plant the seeds and move one tile to the west at a time. Mithril seeds also used to be used as a form of gambling in RuneScape pre-2013, and they have their own moneymaker attached to them as well, because there is a 1 in 1,000 chance of planting white flowers, which are actually selling for over 300k right now. There are a max of 6 seeds sold in stock per world at about 300 GP each. I did this method for 10 minutes and I was able to collect 301. There was some competition and other people buying them at the same time, so this number can vary for you. But I sold them all for under 1k each for a total of 300k. After subtracting out the 1 mil starting cash, I was left with 204k. So I multiply that number by 6 and we have 1,224,000 GP an hour in profit from buying and selling mithril seeds. For our fifth item, I am buying Balls of Wool. These can be purchased for 2 GP each on the island of Nezanot in the supply shop there after completion of the quest Fremnik Trials. There are 9 other shops around Gilinor, but I chose this one because there is a stock of 100 of them and it's in the same exact building as a bank chest, so it makes for a quick, easy banking. Balls of wool are used for the crafting skill to make various types of necklaces, clothing, they can also make rope, and some cosmetic items. Ball of wool actually hit a 6 month all time low during the making of this video at 46 GP. Back in August, just a couple months ago, they were selling for double that price, so be sure to keep your eye on the GE prices when doing this. But to be honest, you'll be buying them for 2 GP each, so you're guaranteed to make a profit. After only 10 minutes of doing this, I spent just 7k and I collected 2,433 of them. I chucked them in the GE and they insta sold. After subtracting out the 1 mil starting cash, it was left with 109k. Multiply that number by 6 to get our hour, and we have just over 650k an hour doing this method. Our sixth and final shop and hop item is Thin Snails. These can be purchased in the town of Bergdorot after the completion of the quest in aid of Myrkwe. You can buy thin snails from RL's supply shop for 6 GP with a maximum stock of 10 per world, and they do sell in the GE for right around 400 to 700 GP. I checked the GE tracker and back in July of 2024, they were actually selling for over 1200 GP each, which is just crazy. There's a bank just south of the shop, which is pretty convenient. Thin snails are also dropped by snails in the Mortmire Swamp and require a cooking level of only 12, granting you 70 XP when cooked, and these do heal between 5 and 7 HP. Other uses for these snails include the Blamish Snail Slime, which is used in the Hero's Quest, and the Blamish Oil, which are used to make an oily fishing rod. I was able to collect 340 of these in 10 minutes and I slow sold them off for 450 GP. After subtracting out the 1 mil, we are left with 150k. Multiply that number by 6 and we have 894k an hour from our final method. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, do feel free to drop a like or comment down below. Let me know which method was your favorite and which one you're going to try. If you do enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for getting me up to 1,000 subscribers. My goal was to hit that by the end of this year. And you all killed it. And we hit that goal last month.